Welcome to Tesla Info and today we are comparing the Tesla Autopilot to BMW equivalent, only this time in the rain. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell if you want to see more content from us. We're following the same route that we used before in the drive, with a small change to the last leg of the journey. The systems are turned on as usual, but the first issue we encountered was when trying to use the auto wiper function on the Tesla. This Tesla is only two weeks old and has the latest software, and in the light and variable rain the automatic system is unusable. We try several times on the journey. The BMW system is faultless. In operation, the BMW system shows a highlighted steering wheel and speed icon, with the speed limit shown at the bottom of the dash. The actual speed is shown in the center of the dash. All this information is replicated in the head-up display. The Tesla shows the speed limit and the max speed for autopilot on the left, with the actual speed on the right. To show whether things are active, Tesla changes the graphics to blue. To activate the BMW system, you use simple controls on the steering wheel. Once set, the BMW system will take over as soon as it can, and then engage and disengage automatically depending on what happens until turned off. The only time the driver needs to do anything is if they have manually stopped the car when they need to press a button to reactivate. The Tesla system is slightly different. You can only activate through the use of the right control stock when the system is ready. Any interruption in use will cause the steering to cancel and require reactivating. As we approach a speed limit change, the Tesla shows no indication of the new speed limit until you cross the threshold. The BMW will show the new speed limit just above the current speed limit with a tick to show it's going to be active. This happens approximately 250 yards before you reach it. It will then count as you approach and reduce the car's speed if the new limit is lower. The change of speed on this first stretch of road is handled by both cars as you would hope. No issues to report.
On the two-lane road, the first issue we encounter is the automatic headlights have turned off on the Tesla. We thought this odd although we thought visibility was good enough to not need to manually turn them on. Many owners may not even realize. We would prefer the system to err on the side of caution. On the two-lane or divided carriageway, the systems work fine. There are a few junctions on this road and the performance through these can be variable, but we would argue that it is better to not rely on these systems through junctions. The other thing we notice in the rain is that the systems can be quite cautious when picking up speed. This happens a few times with both cars and we need to manually accelerate to achieve a normal driving behavior. As before, the Tesla failed to adapt to the speed limits on certain roads. We had to manually intervene to avoid breaking the law.
a second speed limit issue occurred with the Tesla. It read a speed limit sign, but then reverted to the limit in its database which was higher. The car showed no sign of adjusting the car's speed to either limit. We intervened to avoid breaking the speed limit. The video was meant to show how the two lane and speed assist systems performed in the rain as we expected a deterioration in performance due to the weather. Overall, what we found was that both systems worked well in this respect. However, it reinforced our concerns with the Tesla regarding automatic wipers and automatic headlights in marginal weather situations and its ability to accurately know and adjust to the speed limits. The BMW worked near flawlessly in these regards.